here we are again. We got cut off at the pass, and this is the finished product. It just came out of the oven, and I probably could have taken it out a little sooner, but there it is. And I'll sort of get it to up to speed from what I did because we lost a lot of it. Batteries. Ah. Okay. Now, I hope that shows. Okay, here we are. Anyway, I was in the process, I think. I'm not sure where I was, actually, but I'll tell you what I did. I took four of my eggs, I think I got that far, and I was whipping them up. I find, well, anyway, I whipped them up, and this is probably what you didn't see. I put in a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of cream. Naturally, it was organic cream. And then this bowl, when I started making this this morning, was heaped full of chopped spinach. Well, I steamed it when it got done. It wasn't near that much. I was aiming for about 10 ounces of spinach because that's what comes in, I think, a frozen spinach bag. I didn't quite make that, but almost. And then uh, I had cooked some bacon crisp. I cut it up in my mixture. I had sauteed some red onion and some red pepper because I wanted the color. And so uh, after I got the eggs beat up, I put everything, mixed it all together in this bowl, put it in my cheese crust, baked it in my oven for 40 minutes at 375. And probably it could have gone 25 minutes. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I would serve this at the bed and breakfast along with the traditional breakfast. And I didn't have it all the time. We'd usually start out with some sort of uh, fresh juice, uh, fruit juice. Uh, and remember, I wasn't into low sugar, then I was into cooking. Okay, then we'd start out with fruit, oh, the juice, the fruit. Uh, we usually had either a fruit platter with cheese, sometimes little meats, cheese, and fruit. Uh, we had either uh, like, um, I fixed a, it was Danish pastry type thing. It was really easy to make, extremely. It looked beautiful and it tasted good, very little sugar in it but it was covered with, well, it probably did, because it was covered with almonds, and then the almonds were stuck to the side with a white powder icing type thing. But in the pastry itself, little sugar. And then uh, we'd have that, or uh, a Jewish co a sour cream coffee cake, or uh, uh, what I, our inn was called the Heartland Inn. So I had Heartland muffins to go with that. Um, and then we'd have this egg dish, the potato dish, uh, the bacon. And once in a while I'd have elk, I'd have salmon. Remember we're in Idaho, so we had to have the Idaho potato. And we had to have elk and uh, good stuff like that. And, and salmon. And... Uh, but always had the other that if people weren't into, but they would usually taste it all. And I, it was just a really neat experience, and uh, I enjoyed it. But anyway, because of the crust being cheese instead of the flour, I wanted to try it. I was hoping Tom would walk in but he hasn't, so I am going to dish up the peas and see how it is. And it, I'll tell you one thing, you can't smell it, but I can. And oh, it smells pretty good. Okay. 
Did I turn my oven off? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, it's going to come out better than my blueberry kuchen. And my blueberry kuchen, I wasn't quite as satisfied with it. But Tom liked it and ate it, but I want to do it again. And I'm going to take you along with me when I do it again because I want to do it with all blueberries. Because I think it will make a big difference. Okay, that's what it looks like. And it's sitting on a cheese crust. And I might as well taste it, huh? I wish my taster was here. But he's out doing things. So we're going to miss him. I want to eat some of the crust part. Oh, there you are. Can you taste I could, this? I could smell the pie. Could you really? Oh yeah, so I said to myself, Self, there's pie in there. If I get in there, there's a good chance, if you aren't looking, I could snitch some. Well, I was just bemoaning the fact you weren't here to taste some. Sure. I was, I was. So, it's pretty warm, honey. I'll bring it over to you. Very well. And you have a fork there? Do you want the... Oh, wow, my mouth is watering. There you go, sweetie. Now, I, I do have two favorite pies, so. I know. You want to tell me what they are? Well, one's hot and the other one's cold. <laughs> okay. And over between the hot and the cold, you, you might find this rather strange, but I like the cold better than the hot. Yes, I know. Okay, anything else you want to taste that with? Yeah, could you grab my water thing out of the fridge, please? I could, I could. Top shelf, sort of. Top shelf, yes. Here you go. Uh, okay. Thank you. You need hydrating. You just came in. <clears throat> you know, they haven't seen your haircut. Good. <laughs> You, uh, it, if I had some, it would be different. But I can turn the camera around. Th that's okay. Okay, okay. W we'll wait for our tester here. Wait for what? We're waiting for you to, to give it that oh. taste test. Okay. And <laughs> my mouth keeps drooling because <laughs> I can smell it. Oh, and I'm hungry. It's probably pretty it's, hot it's pretty too. Warm. Yeah, and I don't know. This is a spinach one, so. Hmm. And it has the cheese crust. It's, <clears throat> it's very, very different than anything. It's quite different. Would you say it's different but okay or different? Well, it's very good. Okay. Different, but very good. But it is different. Well, I am it going is. to cut me a piece. If people are tired of the same old thing, this will this will take care of that. Yes. What do you suppose? I don't know. Anyway, hey, on, it had the four eggs. It had, I sauteed some onions, red peppers, put in it, and made the cheese. And I believe Beautiful. it's only Munster cheese that will bake up like a crust. And that's why, and it does. See, it's crusty. It looks like a crust. And there it is. Okay, forgive me. I'm going to have a piece. Mmm. It is different, but I think it's okay, and I'll probably do it again. 
like I say, it's a little bit expensive because Munster cheese is a little bit higher price than regular cheese or cheddar. And you might try the other cheeses. Maybe they'd work too. But I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to eat my pie. So I'll see you again. Have a good day, and be sure and come and visit again. I just love to have you. I really would love to have you. <laughs> Bye now.